I sold all of my Cardano, or ADA. Well, kind of. Actually, I sold about 70% of my Cardano, and I know I didn't sell all of it, but if I put 70% of the title, that would have been boring. But in today's video, I want to talk about what I did, why I sold my Cardano, and what I plan to do in the future. Am I leaving Cardano? Am I giving up on Cardano? No. But why the hell am I selling so much of my Cardano right now at these absurdly low prices? And I'll be honest, I didn't want to sell any of my Cardano. I really didn't, especially not at these prices. That's stupid. But in reality, sometimes people make mistakes and also people have to pay taxes. And I am one of those people. And matter of fact, I had to pay a lot of taxes. And even though I'm under a corporation and I have all these things set up to help me save on taxes, that doesn't stop the fact that I received most of my income in Cardano at the price of around 350 Canadian, so close to all time highs in USD and I didn't pay taxes then, therefore I need to claim capital loss. Otherwise, yeah, I owe about eight times more taxes than I should, especially considering current prices. So to put it down simply, I sold a lot of Microdonald because I have to pay taxes. Or rather, I sold a lot of Microdonald now so I can buy it back in a month, claim the loss and pay less taxes. I still am going to buy a majority of this Cardano back, but it made for a good YouTube video. And also there's some interesting things I wanna talk about directly with harvesting for tax losses, but also not being prepared for taxes because obviously I've came into some situations now where I have to sell at a price that I don't want to sell, but you got to do what you got to do. First things first, I'm going to tell you exactly how much Cardano I sold. I'm going to show you my wallet because it is not very hard to find someone's wallet. However, it is hard to find all of their wallets. So I'm not going to show you every single wallet I own, but I will show you the wallets that I sold the Cardano from. And to find that, you can go to a stake pool, the Jack stake pool, click on it and see the owner right here. 30,000, that is my wallet. Yesterday, I sold 68,000 Cardano. Now, I didn't sell the remaining 30,000 because it is locked up in the pledge of my stake pool and I want to keep it there. I want to let people know I'm not going anywhere. But it's not that hard to see someone's balance, especially if they have a stake pool. So I'll just let that be known. Yeah, I sold 68,000 Cardano, okay? Now, usually I wouldn't tell people these numbers, but to me, it doesn't matter nearly as much anymore because a lot of people, a lot less people are not watching me. Um, obviously, it's probably not the best idea privacy-wise to share my exact amounts, but in the end, they are just numbers. It is cryptocurrency um, lands. Everything is magic internet money. And... Yeah, I sold 68,000 Cardano at a price around, I believe it was around 45 cents. For Canadian dollars, this turned into something like $42,000. Of that, I have to use 50% of it to pay taxes. And yeah, so it's not the greatest, it's not the best. I am going to use the remaining money to come back and buy more Cardano. Hopefully, Cardano is at a cheaper price point than when I sold it at. That's the idea. So I can get more Cardano uh, or more bang for my buck. That's the idea. I mean, I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Maybe because I sold my Cardano, we're now going to an epic bull run to a dollar. And I will be behind a lot in my Cardano holdings. But sometimes you have to sell. And sometimes, even though I, I preach diamond hands, diamond hands all the time, and I, I say all this stuff, and I say I'm never selling Cardano, I made videos about that. Taxes come up, things come up. And not always are you going to be able to just hold every single piece of Cardano or your assets that you really want to. So the main lesson I want to make from this video, especially if you're someone who gets crypto income, income in crypto. That's the main reason why I have to do this and pay these taxes. It's not because I bought Cardano and it went down and I owe money. That wouldn't make sense. It's because most of my income was from NFTs and also stake pool, which both are in Cardano. I have to tax it at the price that I received it at. In many cases, in the majority of the cases, the bulk of this Cardano that I've received through income was at the peak prices of Cardano. And now, nine months later, when Uncle Sam, I have to pay him, um, you know, things are not looking so hot and I'm gonna have to claim some losses. Otherwise, I'm gonna be drowning underwater because I'm paying taxes on money that I just don't have anymore because it's not worth the same amount it was eight months ago. Luckily, I am someone who keeps everything tracked in a spreadsheet, you know, every, you know, all the buys, sells, 
income and all of those events so it makes it easy to do but it doesn't make it any easier when i have to sell 68,000 cardano uh, and you know maybe never see even half of that again and pay my taxes it hurts and i wanted to put it out there that i have sold some of my cardano in case anyone is ever tracking my wallet and they know my wallet i have sold a lot of cardano i didn't want to sell it at this price but sometimes you have to pay the piper and that piper is taxes Honestly, probably not the most exciting video you clicked on expecting me to be selling on my Cardano because I hate Cardano now and I'm giving up on crypto or everything's just pure depression and I can't handle it anymore. Certainly, there is a lot less hope in the space going around, but in general, Cardano, I think, is going to do fine in the next five to ten years, especially as the economy crumbles more and more it just gives more of a vice for cryptocurrencies and cardano specifically to leverage to bring available financial infrastructure to the people who don't have it and also better financial infrastructure to what's crumbling around us today in traditional finance one last thing before i end the video i know that crypto being down in the slumps gets everyone's morale down and i apologize if my me myself don't have the max enthusiasm that i did you know a few months ago these things happen things go down and even though i know everything's going to be okay with cardano or at least i really think so and i am convicted in such that's why i am not wanting to sell my cardano and that's why i hold so much cardano even though it feels like that some days it may not go so well and some days it's going to feel like it's not going to all work out. And to be honest, no one knows if it's going to or not. I know I sound like, like a self-help guru at this point, but in general, I have no idea what's coming. I'm going to hold my Cardano, going to try to stack more Cardano and survive the bear markets and become a bit of a crap, so to speak. So hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Hopefully it is tomorrow and peace out.